Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christine and I'm kind of laughing because it's been a couple of days for you guys, but only a couple of minutes for me, which is polar opposite in YouTube world. It's usually the other way around. But what I mean by that is I'm filming three thrift hauls back to back and I've already uploaded number one. If you haven't had a chance to see it, go check it out. I found so many good deals. And then this is number two, which is the Rose Bowl Flea Market in California. And then after this one, I'll film um, number three, which is the Long Beach Flea Market. So let's just get started. <music> So if you've been to my channel before, you know that we went to the Rose Bowl flea market last month and I promised myself I was going to drive down this month because there's just so many good deals and items and it's kind of hard to bring them back on an airplane, but with schedules and timing and everything, we did not drive down. We flew down and that's okay because we were able to bring a bunch of good deals back on the airplane. And then we made up for it the following weekend and drove down to the Long Beach Flea Market and brought just a whole carload of stuff back, which will be my next thrift haul. So stay tuned for that. But at the Rose Bowl Flea Market, there's a booth that I always like to stop at. You may have seen it in my last month's thrift haul, but I bought a um, grain sack from them that I'm gonna cut up and make into a couple pillows and they are so beautiful. And we landed a little bit later this month. And so by the time I got there, most of them were already taken. But I did find all of these beautiful. And these are so authentic. I mean, just look at all the little patches in these. There's a little tear, which I think just adds to it. I love it. I think there's another little patch. Oh, there's another little patch right there but these are so beautiful. I love them so much and they are so long. They're five feet long. So I use them for pillows and I'll use them for table runners. I'll probably use a couple that I'll cut and make into little tea towels, but for five feet long, you can do so much with these, but they're gorgeous. I love them so much. So I got this blue just this simple blue and white striped one, and then kind of a pink. Oh, this one, this one I think has, if I'm not, yeah, see that patch right there? Oh my gosh, so pretty. But this one has, oh, right there. A little embroidered somebody's initials and I think that is so precious and beautiful just beautiful it does have I just saw a little staining there that I'll need to make sure to focus on and get out but just gorgeous pink and white or rose colored I guess and then another blue and white one this one has a lot of stains on it, so I've got to really work on this one. But I love the three bars on this one. And then this one is, I think, supposed to be red, but it's kind of faded, which I love. Um, again, the three stripes on these, just beautiful. And then I got one more I'll show you in a minute because I've already started to make it into a pillow and it's underneath some stuff. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then I found these two beautiful, I don't know if you can see, they're almost like little 
mini acorns, or not acorns, pine cones. Um, but I just thought these are so pretty. There's two of them. I probably don't need to show you both of them. They're the exact same thing. But two of these, and they're, they're gold, and they are so pretty, these wreaths. I thought these would look so beautiful on like a china cabinet, another china cabinet that has two doors and even with like maybe some burlap ribbon. Wouldn't that be so beautiful? I think these are so pretty. We had to be so careful trying to get these back because they kind of, they're kind of delicate, but these are beautiful. And I think I paid, oh, I forgot to tell you, the grain sacks were, I don't remember. The grain sacks were $10 each. They were running a sale on them. So I got a great sale, $10. I think I got all five of them for $50. If I'm right, I might be wrong on that. And then I think these were $5 a piece and just so pretty. I can't wait to decorate with these. And then I told you in my last thrift haul, look how beautiful. I'll show one at a time. Look at the patina on this one. Is that just gorgeous? I mean, that is so pretty to me. That is perfection right there. I love this. These are those antique mashers. And I think these are so beautiful to decorate with and just gorgeous. And then I got this one. I wish this one was flat on the bottom, but she only had these two. I love this big knob on top. And this one's got a beautiful patina as well. And I paid only $5 each for these, which I cannot believe because I usually see these and they're I think the best I've ever seen is $15 a piece. Usually they're like 20, 25. And so when I, she was only selling them for $5 a piece, I said, absolutely gorgeous, just beautiful. And then I saw this last month and I was so afraid that she was gonna sell out of them because I had already gotten too much stuff to bring back on the plane and I couldn't add it last month but I definitely went back for one of these. I don't know why I thought she was gonna sell out. That's so dumb, they have a ton of them, but look how beautiful. Just that beautiful wood again, that is so pretty and weathered and worn. I think that's gorgeous. I can't wait to decorate this with some greenery coming out of it or some can, I don't even know yet. I don't even know, but I think it's beautiful. And it's a really good size. Look at those cute little handles. And this I paid $149, which seems like a lot, but honestly, I have seen these sell for so much more. So I felt like that was a great deal. I felt good about that. So I got that. And then on my way out, I've already washed these and put pillows in them. I think I just need to steam iron them, but look how pretty these pillowcases are. They're handmade. This lady had handmade them. Everything in her booth was handmade, and I just love that little pinstripe. It's that thick, it's kind of a green sack fabric, but it's that thick fabric, and I thought these would be beautiful. I got two of them. I thought they'd be beautiful in our guest room. So again, I've already washed them and put pillows in them, but I do think I need to steam out some of those wrinkles, but I only paid $5 each for these, which I thought was so pretty because it's that creamy white, white, white that I love so much. Oh, and then the last grain sack, I've already kind of started to make into pillows. I've washed this one but it just has that single green stripe. So beautiful. And it's enough, they are enough for two full standard pillows, maybe even two king 
There's a lot of green sack. No, probably just two standard pillows, but I already kind of put a pillow in here just to get a size gauge, but I will make this into two pillows and look how beautiful. I love this. Maybe it's better to show it this way. So, so pretty. And then I think that's all for the rose bow. But, and I have one more item to show you that I forgot to show you in last thrift haul, but it goes right in line with all of these pillows because I have all of these zippers, just this long, long continuous zipper. And I forgot to order more of the little heads. And so I ordered a bunch on Amazon and this is what showed up. All of this and the zipper heads are tiny. They don't even fit, so I was so bummed out. And these zipper heads don't fit. You have to have a certain kind of zipper head, which I didn't know that. But I found at the last thrift store um, here locally, this huge bag of perfect zippers. And they are 26 inches, which is exactly what most of the pillows I make are 26 by 26. And I like to have the zippers. They just look a little bit more polished, but they are perfect. They're white. It comes with the zipper and the zipper head is already on them. I feel like this is such a huge score. I know it's really dumb, but for me, this is perfect. And it was only $8 for all of these. I mean, there's probably like 50 of them in here. Maybe, yeah, probably like 50 of them in here. So I will leave you with that. I think those are so fun. But thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure to stay tuned. In a couple of days, I'll upload the Long Beach flea market items that we brought back. And I hope you have an absolutely perfect rest of your day. See you soon.